Now we investigate the innocent looking killer that could be lurking inside your home. Window blind cords have killed three children in five months and tonight one brave family is speaking out in the hope of saving young lives. Window blind cords are killing our children. So it's the worst day of life. And scarring many more. They can strangle very quickly. There's gaping holes in our national safety standards. But that could be a fatal mistake. But eliminating the risks can be cheap and simple. Well, I could make this safe really easily within a couple of minutes. Sounds hard enough. <laughs> Telling their story is unbearably difficult for Laura and Clint Mackay, but they want every one of us to sit and listen to avoid ever suffering the pain they feel every day. I would just give anything to walk back into our house and have everything be normal. <laughs> This was when life was normal. Come on, what to get? Little Jack Mackay learning to walk with his mum's encouragement. Bring it to mum, mum thinks it. But at 18 months of age, Dad Clint put his son down for an afternoon nap in his cot. It was located by a window with vertical blinds. I walked past his room, I didn't hear anything. I said, yeah, he's still asleep. Went, checked the washing and when I come back in, I was, yeah, come across him. In the cot, you see, with the cord around his neck. Jack was blue, and Clint gave him CPR until paramedics arrived. He was airlifted to hospital, but doctors couldn't save him. I'm still wracked with guilt that I didn't do enough, but I could have done more. And the what if, the what if I didn't walk straight past his room to do the washing? What if I had it checked in beforehand? It's all over our accord. <laughs> You know, our whole entire, like, the devastation was caused by something so silly, really. The Mackays were simply unaware of the dangers of leaving a cot near a window blind cord. Sadly, they're not the only ones. In New South Wales alone, there have now been three blind cord fatalities in just the past five months. 15 month old girl, unconscious in her cot, she became entangled in blind cords. Baby Eden is the latest name to add to that awful list. Strangled by a cord in a Sydney home less than a week after 16 month old Tabitha Slade also suffered the same heartbreaking fate. All it takes is to leave a child like this and your baby's name could be next. So what do you make of this room? Oh, right, okay. Christine Erskine is from Kids Safe New South Wales. We took her into an average family home to identify potential death. So, you know, a child lying there can still get that round their toes, round their foot. A lot of loose cord there, so they certainly can get round their neck and tighten up. What do we need to do to make this room safe? So this, this cord and this loop needs to go out the way and so it needs to have a, a hook of some sort up here so that that is tightly wound up out of reach of the child and then also we recommend that nursery furniture was moved right away from the window. In the room next door the safety hooks are in place but the pressure remains on parents to wind those cords all the way up every day. If that's not wrapped all the way up then you've got a, a you know, a strangulation hazard there. In the master bedroom, a Roman blind creates a new threat. So looking at that looks fine, but actually there's a hidden hazard. So if you move this away, you'll see that there's a series of loops. Um, this These roller blinds in the sunroom have safety hooks in place to secure those potentially deadly chains, so some but there. one has come loose. This would have been safe, but something's happened here, and so the loop's now free. You could just leave that. But that could be a fatal mistake. This family video shows how easy it can happen. <laughs> An American mother filming her kids playing when she spotted a three-year-old tangled in cords, his head hanging, silently choking. Thankfully, this child survived without permanent injury. <laughs> Other survivors are left with scars and brain injuries. If the brain is starved of oxygen just for a short period of time, there can be a lifetime impact of disability and suffering for the child. We found that the awareness is very low. Craig Babbage is from 1300 Smoke Alarms. They visit tens of thousands of homes every year inspecting smoke detectors. 
but realised the blind cords could be the real killer. These blinds were installed about 10 years ago. Um, there was a warning label back then, do not tie the cords together. But what we've got here is a classic example of a cord, be, cord being tied together. They charge just $5 per window to shorten cords and install safety hooks at least 1.6 metres high. But you can also do it yourself with a screwdriver. <laughs> For the sake of a few dollars, you could retrofit your blind and guarantee that your children are safe. There's also a device called a cordate that sells for just two dollars, which can wrap cords well away from harm. It's sometimes the only solution for when blind cords sit in the middle of a window, a situation not currently addressed under the national safety standard. This is a very cheap way to potentially save a life. Yeah, these are two dollars each. You know, how cheap is that? Laura and Clint Mackay will be forever haunted by the loss of their son Jack. And they have this message for anyone living with unsecured blind cords. Cut it. Take it down. So it doesn't happen again. My biggest message would be check the layout of the room and of the entire house really, but especially the room. And then while you're in there, get the big